All right. Hey, well, thanks for joining me. Man, it is late. It is, what time is it? It's like 12.30 at night. Kids are finally down. Um, wife is asleep. And so, it's time for me to come downstairs and film some videos, ship out some cards I sold. You know, the life of someone who's in the hobby, you know. The good fun stuff and so actually this is kind of bothering me with i need like at least one some decent frames of this so that i can um, make my thumbnail so yeah so yeah this is kind of what i bought um over the last week and so it's a sunday night right now and so since my last video since my last sunday uh, this is this is all the the stuff I've bought, um, and this is again what I consider a really good week. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of money to spend on the hobby. You know, I just got into the hobby, and I got to be careful because, man, it's easy to just drop way too much money on this hobby. It's easy to just, I don't know, drop a hundred bucks a day. You know, doing breaks and going out there hunting for cards. So you got to be careful. You know, you got to limit yourself. And this, this is what I consider a pretty good week. I didn't get anything high end, but kind of right now, um, there's not a lot of great stuff out there. I mean, there's not a lot of prism. So just just to update you, um, you know, Target is still not selling football, baseball, and basketball cards in store. Um, but they have started to sell Pokemon. And uh, what's that new set that came out? Not Hidden Fates. That's an old, old set. The, the f I forget what it is. But there's a new set that just came out for Pokemon. And that was th th that's out at Target, the new Pokemon set. Or all Pokemon cards are now at Target, right? Um, and they just released the video footage of, of that altercation in, um, one, uh, one of the suburbs of Milwaukee that kind of triggered Target to stop selling cards in person. And, you know, it's, it's a little disturbing, um, because I mean, you know, four guys trying to beat up on a guy, you know, and that guy... You know, pulling out a gun. I mean, dude. Thankfully, all five of those people are still alive. You know, someone could have died. You know, I mean, in a matter of seconds, that one guy could have killed four guys. Or those four guys could have killed that one guy. You know, so we're really lucky. You know, that, it's also interesting because in that video, uh, it says that the DA is not going to press charges. Because the DA um, is having a hard time figuring out who is the victim here. Because apparently... Those four guys um, said that the one guy at a previous store let a whole bunch of people budge, budge them. And they weren't cool with that. Those four guys were not cool with that. I mean, I wouldn't be cool with that either. I would say something, you know. Um, and then they met up at another target. And they uh, confronted him again. Um, or like he confronted them this time. Now, yeah, I think he confronted them this time, and then something happened. And then you know, based upon the video footage, the DA is saying, "Dude, I can't. I don't know what's going on. I can't press charges. Like, I don't know who's the victim here." Well, you know what? Let me let me adjust my lighting really quick here. There we go. That's a little better. And so, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, nothing will ha probably happen. Because um, there's not enough evidence there. It looks like two parties here were at fault. Were at fault and so, they're gonna, both going to... Um, they both should just be happy that, that they're okay. That they're alive. That they get to go home. 
because sometimes situations like this occur and someone doesn't get to go home and that always sucks that's just a horrible situation there yeah so then I don't know where I was going with this I should like make an outline when I talk about uh, my shopping hauls and my card hunting you know so yeah I guess I just want to give you guys an update on on the current situation and the current market here card hunting market and um, there have been some leaked footage uh, videos and well I shouldn't say videos uh, been some pictures released of baseball cards showing up at Target just baseball so football and basketball are still out you know soccer's there UFC's there um, but no but yeah baseball's been shown to come back um, one person had like a receipt where they bought two Bowman mega boxes um, I know in Canada some they were saying that uh, they they still have they're still selling heritage and and there's another picture of a person who took a picture of some series one at a target and you knew that it was up to date because you saw like you know you saw like some panini contenders there you saw some um yeah the, the draft picks and i think you saw like basketball the panini uh, contenders basketball and you saw series one and so you know that that had to be recent because contenders has only been out for about a couple weeks and uh, the uh, contenders basketball has only been out for I don't know maybe like four or five weeks, and so so there's some hope. Hopefully, baseball comes back, which would be great because we've got some great sets coming out. Like I, I would love to get my hand on some more uh, series two right over here, um, Bowman Chrome. That'd be great if I can get some get my hands on some Bowman Chrome. Um, yeah. So and. Um, so with Target Online, Target um, Online, they surprised everyone, and I think they did a Tuesday drop last week, uh, two weeks ago. And then last week, they did a Wednesday drop and no Friday. So two weeks ago, they did a Tuesday drop, no Friday drop. And then last week, they did a Wednesday drop and no Friday drop. And so everyone's kind of thinking this week, it's gonna they're gonna drop again, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and there has not been a lot of product in general. Um, you know, there's been you know maybe a little select, maybe a little um, prism but not much i mean there is not a lot of that stuff and so i just haven't been lucky to find any uh, on target online i mean when i hopped online this past week on wednesday um there, they did have they did have some bowman um blasters but i'm kind of i don't know i'm thinking i'm gonna try to save up some money to buy some bowman um maybe buy some singles from bowman or buy some um, Bowman Chrome, which I've heard is going to be the next baseball set that's going to be released. So, uh, I think that's probably going to happen in a, I don't know. I have no idea when that's going to happen, but I heard that's the next set. And then Series 2 is out right now, so then everyone wants to buy Series. Everyone wants to collect Series 2. So, I'm thinking I'm going to save my money a little bit. Um, and hopefully I can... Um, get some singles from Bowman or Series 2 and save up for Bowman Chrome. And so, yeah, right now, like, kind of Prism. They're not making a lot of Prism right now. Prism might be done. I mean, we just, we're, we're going to start the NBA Finals in a couple days. Um, Select is probably done. Um, I've heard that products, they only released the products for about six to eight weeks-ish. And then it really just starts to die down. Uh, you'll be lucky if you find some. I mean, whatever you find might just be stuff that's kind of maybe at holding companies or at warehouses, distributors, and they're just, they've discovered another box. So they, you know, they allocate it out to whatever store. And so it's, 
Prism has been out for a long time. Uh, Select has been out for a long time. And when I say a long time, it's probably been at least, Prism has been out at least, has been on shelves for at least eight weeks. Select has been on shelves for at least six weeks, eight weeks-ish. Um, Contenders just came out um, for about two weeks. And Chronicles has been out for about maybe about like four weeks now. Um, and Bowman. Bowman's been out for uh, at least, at least, this, we, we got to be entering week six here. And so you're probably not going to see that much Bowman stuff. And that's why I decided to buy these two Bowman boxes here. So, yeah, so let's kind of talk about, I think that's it. I think that's all I want to talk about about this about this week um, in regards to that uh, to the hobby here. So, um, yeah. Uh, so let's kind of you know this is what I bought this week, and, and like I said, this is what I consider a pretty good week. You know, I mean, on average, I'm happy if I get to open two blasters. Man, if I can open up two blasters a week man that's a good week i mean that's you know uh that's 40 bucks and you know multiply that multiply that out in a month that's you know 160 bucks you know to spend on a hobby um and so i'm happy if i if i can get you know two blasters of something that i want you know and so this is what i got this week so on friday I think on Saturday last week. So today's Sunday, not yesterday Saturday, but the Saturday from the previous week, I ran to my local LGS. <coughs> Excuse me there. Um, and I picked up my pre-release pack for Modern Horizons here. And if you're not familiar with Modern Horizons, um, this is probably like one of the premier sets that Magic releases every year in the beginning of the summer magic will release um a, a set that kind of is designed for what they call their more um eternal formats and this would be for modern um there are a lot of cards that you can use for modern in here which is a format where you can use some older cards even like legacy maybe even vintage they might have some cards for those formats and and those formats are you can use a there's less restrictions so you can use cards that are like 20 years old um, in those formats and when I say a format <coughs> oh, excuse me there I tried covering the mic but well I don't know it's probably still really loud and annoying um, but but yeah for for magic there's different formats um, there's a standard format which is kind of is um, you can use cards from card sets from the last two years um, there's modern, which pretty much is cards that have like a modern um, border to them. Um, there's legacy, which is pretty much all cards available with a bunch of restrictions and banned cards. And there's vintage, which is kind of cards you can use every card except a handful of cards that are on the banned list. And there's a whole bunch of cards that are res restricted down to one card. Well, one copy per deck. And so Modern Horizons really caters to people who play more eternal formats. Formats where you can just buy cards and use them for a long, long, long time. And so that's why at the beginning of the summer, you see Modern Horizons. This year they did Modern Horizons. I don't know what they did last year. Was it Command of Legends last year? I think it was. But anyways, <clears throat> Modern Horizons. And sorry about all my coughing and my clearing of my throat. Um, I've had, uh, we, we had my nieces and nephews, uh, my, my niece and my nephews at, um, our house for the last four days and we've been staying up late. We've been playing board games, some, um, ticket to, uh, ticket to ride. Um, we've been playing lots of video games. They're really into Clash Royale, which is pretty fun. Um, and we've just been having lots of fun, uh, and we just went swimming, like, for like six hours today and so I'm just tired <laughs> I'm just tired and um, my body's showing it a little bit here so yeah anyways 
not yesterday, Saturday, but Saturday last week, I went to my LGS, which stands for Local Game Store. And that's a term that's used in um, the TCG world. Um, I know in the sports card world, we call it LCS, Local Card Shop. But in the world of Magic or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, we call it LGS, Local Game Store, right? And, um, yeah, you know, I, I wanted to say, too, that I just found out that in my area, honestly, just like, um, like, honestly, just like five, ten minutes from my house, I have two LGSs that have opened up. And so um, I'm going to go check them out. It doesn't seem like they have a lot of magic there. They kind of have more Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, which is cool. You know, I mean, people were able to fill out applications for these distributors, and distributors must be giving these stores uh, these individuals product and they're like you know what let's just open up a store you know i mean that's cool you know you're following your dream and, and let's see what happens right and so i have two new lgs's and they're literally like across the street from each other one kind of focuses more on warhammer um and i there's an and the one across the street focuses mainly on pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, which is cool um but yeah, so I picked up Modern Horizons, and, and I totally forgot that this comes with six um, draft boosters. I thought it came with six set boosters, but it comes with six draft boosters, right? But I pulled a really sweet um, card from this. Um, I haven't opened up any of the six packs, but it, you do get like a special pre-release card. And I got this bad boy right here, Yavimaya cradle of growth you can see right there it says a 2020 it's got 2021 right there and so i uh, i just sold this card on ebay um for a little over uh i think it was like uh like 20 bucks so i mean not too bad you know pays for part of the box and i'm sure the other cards i get in the box are going to pay for for it so very cool card Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. But that's enough talking about, about magic. But I just wanted to share with you guys. So you're going to probably, if you go to the store, Target, Walmart, Barnes & Noble, wherever, you're going to see a lot of Modern Horizons too. And um, it might be worth picking up if, if, you, if you want to get into magic. You know, so Modern Horizons too. Really cool set here. Uh, let's see what else I got this week. So then, also during this week, <clears throat> oh yeah, I also want to say that um, I don't film footage of me going into stores because I don't want to um, offend anybody. I don't want to, um, I don't want them to think like I'm like, I don't know, trying to steal their identity or trying to profit off of them. And so that's why I don't film footage of me going into stores. I just don't do it, um, you know, and I don't mind if people do it of me, but I just want to be mindful of other people and their privacy. So that's why I don't film any footage of of me going into into um, the stores and seeing what they had in stock, right? And so this week, um, on Thursday, I went to my local Walmart, and they had nothing. Like I said, um, there's there's no Select, there's no Prism. The only thing they had was um, Chronicles Fat Packs, and they had maybe about like I don't know, maybe like six or eight of those. It was funny. We were standing in line. Um, around like and then like around like 5:45, the the manager from Walmart comes out and he's like, hey, I just want to let you guys know, we didn't get a lot in today. We got two boxes today. All right. And he was kind of being a jerk um, about it. I, mean, I don't know. I think he was just trying to inform us, but he, it kind of felt like he was just saying it in a way where he was like lording, like I've got information and you guys are wasting your time here today. I only got two boxes. Just his tone was very kind of arrogant. You know, very kind of like, like I said, he was just kind of like, I've got this, uh, like, sorry guys, like, we only got two boxes today. All right, best of luck. And then he just kind of walked away and we're just kind of like, uh, and we all stood there. We all still stayed there because we wanted to see what's there. We've been there for long enough that we, we don't mind waiting another 15 minutes to see what, see what there is. And so, like I said, there wasn't a whole lot. They had some Chronicles fat packs. I mean, some Chronicles uh, football um megas and um but then i was like 20th in line and so when i got up there there was all they had left all the chronicles was gone when i got up there um i think they had fat 
they had what I, I keep on calling them fat packs. They had megas, um, and I think that was it. And then all, and then they had like um, contenders, draft picks. They had um, blasters, and they had these value packs. And then what else did they had? I think they had some score hangers and some score value packs. And they had Series 2 hangers and Series 2 blasters. Um, and so I was kind of like, oh, man, all right, it's not a whole lot of stuff there. So um, I just grabbed three of these Panini Connector draft picks. And I was going to grab that. I kind of regret, but not really regret, drafting, uh, picking up, uh, not picking up uh, a, a blaster as well. Um you know, and I was like, ah, oh, do I really want to spend 40 bucks on, like, the set that I know is not going to be an amazing set? You know, so I was like, you know what, I'll just grab these three. So it's either between these three value packs or a blaster. And I was kind of like, I looked at the blaster and I was like, oh, I think it, like, guaranteed, like, an auto. But then I was kind of like, or like a relic. And I'm like, dude, I know those relics are, like, trash. There's, like, they're not even, like... They're not even like affiliated with that player. They just like, like I don't know. They just have a whole bunch of jerseys. They cut the jersey up and they put it in there, just to say that it's a relic card, but it's not associated with that player at all. Um, and so I was like, you know, what? I'll just grab these and grab some groceries, you know. So I grabbed these three, and I'll probably be opening them up this week. Um, and then on Friday. And so then uh, on Thursday, I was waiting for my Barnes & Noble to kind of um, get some more stuff, but they never did. And then I waited Friday, <clears throat> and as soon as I saw the message, I told my wife. <clears throat> so my um, my Barnes & Noble, they, they update on Instagram when they get cards in stock. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and, and so... As soon as I saw that message, I, was, I, I told my wife, like, I got to go. I'll see you later. I'll see you in a couple hours. I'll see you in, like, 90 minutes, right? And then I booked it to my Barnes & Noble, and I was able to pick up these two packs here. And so they had value packs, and they had Bowman Megas, and they had a whole bunch of Pokemon stuff because that, that a new set just came out. And so I was like, ah, you know, I don't want the Bowman Megas. It's okay. I'm just going to pass on those. I'd rather open up some more football. So I grabbed these two. I ran to another Barnes & Noble. And then I was able to grab these two as well. Um, and then I called. Because usually if one Barnes & Noble has inventory, then... Chances are they probably got more inventory. Uh, the other Barnes & Nobles in the area have inventory as well. And so I ran to the other Barnes & Noble, like I said, and I grabbed two more. So now I've got four of these. And it's great. These, these are just like five bucks each. And then I called the third Barnes & Noble because that one is probably about like at least 25 minutes away. And then, and then I would have to drive 25 minutes back home. And I was like, man, is it worth it? I called them and they said that they had some football cards and some baseball cards in stock. And I was like, uh, do you know what, what sets? And the person was kind of, they seemed kind of annoyed at me asking. And they said no. And so I was like, all right, that's cool. Yeah, I'll make my way there. And so I drove there. And they were out of football. Actually, when I pulled into the drive, I, I parked. I saw a guy walking out of Barnes & Noble. And he had, um, you know, some more of this in his hand, right? And so then I walked in and went to the card section. And they had a lot of, um, they actually had a whole bunch of, Modern Horizon stuff there. And they had Bowman Megas, right? The other two Barnes and Nobles that I went to earlier today, or earlier that they had Bowman Megas as well. But then, like I said, they only limited two per person, uh, two items per person. And I was kind of like, oh, yeah, I don't know if I want Bowman. You know, I'd rather spend, what, like, I forget how much these were. 
I want to say they were $30 each. I'm trying to look for my receipt, but I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, they were $30 each, and I was kind of like, uh, I don't know. Do I want to spend 60 bucks on it or whatever? For 60 bucks, I can probably buy, like, I can probably buy, like, I think Austin Martin's going for anywhere from like nine to like fifteen bucks a chrome version of him. And I was like, you know, do I want two Bowman boxes, two Bowman Megas, or do I want four, potentially five Austin Martin chrome cards? You know, I don't know. I don't know. And I was there and I was just thinking, like, well, you know, Bowman Megas are, this is probably like the fourth or fifth week maybe in the sixth week of bowman since it's been released and i'm like you know what i'll pick up the boxes and if i open them great if i don't that's cool i can just save it and it'll probably be a hundred bucks next year per box but we'll see yeah and so i mean who am i kidding i'll probably open them that's just how i am right um so yeah so, you know, pretty, pretty good haul for the week. You know, and like I said, I'm, I'm happy if I get, um, if I, if I can like get my hands on two blasters, you know, that's how it was when Target was selling cards, you know, I'll be able to go to Walmart, wait for a few hours, wait for a couple of hours, I should say, and I'll be able to at least walk away with, um, uh, walk away with like a, a blaster and a couple packs and then the next day I will go to Target and I'd be able again to walk away with a blaster and a few packs and so um, so this compared to what I normally get is great this is a great haul nothing high end um, but still I have something to to scratch the itch, right? So this video is getting super long and I just want to thank you like seriously I just want to thank you if you are still here <sighs> Listening to me ramble about this Like I said, I need to get, like write some bullet points and um, Just do a better job at these videos but I mean at the same time these videos are just me just talking too so you know that's just how it goes so uh, you know thank you so much for watching me and listening to me talk about what I hauled this weekend um, and my card hunting adventures for this week so again thank you so much you're awesome and I'll see you in the next video